We've waited 11 years. Sit back and enjoy the sights and sounds and the return of the Backyard Brawl on ESPN. So this is when we'll get our first look at the new West Virginia offense, Graham Harrell, and their starting quarterback, JT Daniels. High snap again, balls on the turf. Mathis falls on it, and it's going to be fourth down. West Virginia pit able to stop the momentum of the Mountaineers. Play clock at three. Slovis able to get it off. Pressure, set. That's Jared Bartlett who gets to slow this and a loss of nine and a great stop for the Mountaineers defense. Third and nine. Ball at the four. Slovis, snap high. Plenty of time over the middle and the first completion for Keaton Slovis. That's to Jared Wayne. The pass earlier to Abana Kanda behind the backfield. They counted it as a run. So Slovis, that his first completion. First and 10, ball at the 24. Slovis again, plenty of time, sets his feet, goes to the sideline, and that's Mumpfield, and another first down after 16 yards. They had seven offensive linemen in on that last play. Back in the I formation, another play fake for Slovis, forced out of the pocket. You know, Slovis a little high step across midfield. Comes in with 26 career starts, has experience at USC. Again over the middle, and it's Bob Means. Bubba Means. He averaged over 19 yards per reception last year at La Tech. You know he can make big plays. Again, this drive started at Pittsburgh's three. Slovis momentum has to climb the pocket, and he's brought down by Mallinger. Snap, clean, kick, good. Because he wanted to get out here and play in this backyard brawl, third and one for Daniels and West Virginia. And it's a run right up the middle. There goes C.J. Donaldson. Donaldson in a gain of 43. What a play call by Harrell and West Virginia in business inside the 10-yard line. Let me tell you this, C.J. Donaldson, really a tight end by trade, but look, they said, they alluded to the fact that you're going to see him in the back, you're going to see him run the football. He's 6'2", 240 pounds, and he was rolling. Tempo for West Virginia, Bryce Ford Wheaton, answer Mountaineers. Now an empty backfield for Slovis. First and 15 after the penalty. Pressure! Slovis gets it away, and what a move by Bob Means. Ball on the turf. West Virginia says they have it, and they do. Yeah, on the field is a completed catch. Right here. A fumble yeah, recovered by the defense. Coming First off down. Here. West Virginia. Puts a big hit on Keaton Slovis. Bob Means is trying to secure the football and tuck it away, and just loses control of it. Right there, you see him make, make the first defender miss. C.J. Donaldson saw him break off the big play earlier back in the backfield. Second and five, the fake to Donaldson. Quick out to three, Caden Prather. And a great job, balls out again. Does Pittsburgh get it back? I think they do. They do. That's the talented safety, Eric Hallett, that comes up with it. You see Mark West Williams, you see him take on the block and get the ball out. That's a fantastic play. The old turnover dunk. Play fake. Time. Slovis to the sideline. And that's going to be Mumfield. Ball now at the 18. Slovis and Pitt trying to score off the turnover. Here goes Rodney Hammond running hard. Hammond's been the ball carrier for the Panthers tonight. Brought down by Aubrey Burks. Gain of 12. Coming in motion. Ball at the four. Third and goal. Are they going to run it? They do. That's Hammond trying to muscle his way into the end zone. And they rode the offensive line. Pitt back on top. 
I mean, this game turned into an energy drink. Minute 48 here, second quarter. Second and 10, handoff to Mathis. Mathis space, Mathis first down. Immediately. Pat Narduzzi calls a timeout thinking they're going to get the ball back. And now West Virginia is on the move. Mathis corralled, brought for a tackle for loss. And how big is this? It's Morgan who replaced <laughs> Alexander. You, know, you talk about an energy drink. Now Baldonado is back in at the right defensive end. They've been having some success, some success on Wyatt Milam. Trips up top. Caden Prather, the reception. Prather makes a man miss down the sideline. And a first down, West Virginia. Servassier Dennis. Hit showing pressure. Daniels to throw across the middle. And now they're going to have to take that timeout because they're going to be shot in short of the first down. Rashad Battle tackles Bryce Ford Wheaton. Rose Award watch list. All name team Casey Legg. On for the field goal attempt, and it is good. Wesley McCormick almost has an interception. I mean, we've seen all of these guys flying around to the football and making big plays for this defense. So an early third down for Slovis. Has to escape the pressure, and he can't. A sack by Jared Bartlett. And that three and out. Give the ball back to our offense. And that's how the game started for Pitt. Same thing. Three and out. They got oh. Slovis. Punt is blocked. Special teams coming up big. Scoop. Inside the five-yard line, and just like that, Lewis Riddick in all three phases, opportunity, defense, special teams. And that is Hershey McLaurin coming up with the play for the Mountaineers. Yeah, look, you just got to say, this is on the punter. He's just got to get that ball out. It's first and goal, JT Daniels has the ball inside the five. The give to C.J. Donaldson, the big freshman trying to muscle his way into the end zone. And how about that for the Mountaineers? First punch at a halftime, take the lead, touchdown. West Virginia showing pressure, and again the handoff, a fake the handoff over the middle to Jared Wayne. Wayne makes a man miss. Jared Wayne off to the races, inside the 20, 10, 5 to the 3. We've been saying it all game long that off of the play action pass, the second level defenders have been jumping up into the line of scrimmage to try and stop the run game and that the windows are there. They just have to hit them and then catch it and then run with it. Yeah, my guess is this will be Handman right up the gut again. Oh, about the fullback up and over. Touchdown. Score one for the fullback, Daniel Carter. And now we've got flags on the field, some extracurricular activities. It's Pittsburgh now an extra point from tying it up. And I know I'm the leader of this team. Took him about one day to realize Koba was going to be the guy that was going to be the quarterback of this defense. Here comes the pressure. Slovis out of the backfield. Finds Hammond all by himself. Across the 50. Hammond gets the block. One man to beat. Hammond takes it down to the 10. Gain of 50. This is a brawl of epic proportion by both teams. Defense coming up big. Offense making plays. Hammond off the right side. Hammond staying up. Hammond going oh by the offensive line. In for a touchdown. Pitt takes the lead. Under a minute in the third quarter. They got big boy back in the game. I mean, they found something with the running game, and they found oh. something with C.J. Donaldson. This kid is special. Two flags on the play. It's a little sift block coming across the formation. Run, personal foul, face mask. face mask, defense number nine. Here comes J.T. Daniels. He's going to take a shot at the end zone, and what do you know? Bryce Ford Wheaton puts West Virginia an extra point away from tying up the backyard brawl as we start the fourth quarter. Well, he's going to be very happy when he watches the film on Bryce Ford Wheat. And again, West Virginia having guy. success on the run. It is C.J. Donaldson, the true freshman. What a night for Donaldson. Another big run brought down by Brandon Hill. Both teams have rotated a lot of players in here. There goes Mathis. Mathis makes a man miss. Gets a block. Knocked down 
at the one yard line. JT under center. Quarterback Snake. They give him the touchdown. West Virginia regains the lead. Get him the football. So another pass for Slovis out of the shotgun. Forced out of the pocket. He's going to go down. Dante Stills. They're at him again. Are they going to go single high and leave somebody one-on-one? -on -one? Slovis has time, takes a shot. That's Mumpfield downfield, and Mumpfield's going to move the chains inside the 30, brought down by Marcus Floyd. He's got everything at his ar in his arsenal. Does it again. Pressure comes. Slovis forced out of the pocket. Has a man open downfield, and it's Mumpfield again. Across the middle is Slovis. That's a man of Kanda. Makes a man miss. There goes Izzy. Izzy. Touchdown, Pitt. Because he's going to be getting fed a lot. Daniel's going to throw on first down. Goes to the sidelines. Has a man wide open. It's tipped. It's picked off. And Jay Devonshire. He's got face. He's going to take it to the end zone. Pittsburgh takes the lead. You have got to be kidding me. We've talked about it all night. Bryce Ford, Wheaton, what a remarkable game he's had. Wide open. And just can't come up with it. Run after the catch. Once you catch it, turn into an offensive player and take it to the house, young man. You know they're going to throw the football. You got to go. Daniels out of the pocket. Keeps his eyes downfield. Takes a shot. His tight end broke from coverage. That's Mike O'Laughlin in a big first down West Virginia. Lose contain on the passer. He's able to buy time getting out on the perimeter. That's one as a defensive back. You have to plaster. <laughs> Pressure. They didn't rule him down. JT Daniels stayed up. It all comes down to this. Daniels takes a shot. Was that caught? That was Reese Smith. We got to see that one again. And the officials are discussing it. That ball's moving. Matt Austin. It's coming down to this call right here. His hand under it? No. The ball's yeah. moving. That's no, not that a catch. Ball, I agree with Lewis. That ball's rolling into the end zone. That's going to be incomplete. We've had 133 ball plays tonight. After further review, the receiver lost possession of the ball when it hit the ground. The pass is incomplete. It will be first down kick at the previous spot. College football is all the way back. <laughs> I just have goosebumps all over. I mean, the, the excitement, the pageantry, the emotion. It's just, you, you can't match it. Keaton Slovis. Pat Narduzzi and the Pittsburgh Panthers have won the backyard brawl.